My name is Henry Blom and I am originally from England, from Liverpool, so I'm a Brit. And I ended up in Montana um, through, through my marriage originally. I visited a friend at the Roosevelt um, who had a place here and I just immediately saw those rooms up there as, a, as, as amazing studios. I was really just dabbling with the idea of this is what I wanted to do, this is what my direction um, in my life was going to be. And I saw the studios and I was like, yeah, I have to, I have to go for this. I'm an oil painter and I, I just do oil paintings. Um, as a cook, I just always love butter. So it's like painting with butter. <laughs> so I, I can't get away with it. I guess all my life I've been creative in some way. Um, as a kid, I just used to draw and paint all the time. My, my father's an artist. As a teenager, I really got into music and I was a musician for right up until, I don't know, probably my late 20s, early 30s. So I was a professional musician for a good 15 years. I moved to Paris and I think through all the amazing art in the museums and everything in that city, you know, I really was like, oh, I used to love doing this. And I just picked up the paintbrush again. And then over the course of my 30s, over the course of the next 15 years, I was kind of an on and off painter because I had a design business. I think over the past two years, I've been really developing. And so I'm kind of trying lots of different things. The things that get me going is light, contrast of light, real darks against real brights. So when I see something, I'm like, oh, I could do something with that play with the composition of it. I work mainly on two fronts, which you could say is both portraiture, so animals and, and humans. The, the look in the eye of somebody or, or, or an animal, um, the tilt of a head, a certain light hitting something. I think this art center can go as far as it wants to go. It could be like an Emerson in Bozeman where it is a genuine art center and there's genuine buzz and when people think about Red Lodge they think about this place, it could really go there. There's a lot of talent, there's a lot of people doing a lot of stuff. Um, if the Roosevelt keeps on with the public profile in terms of like doing the art walks, having a, you know, showing the kind of local community that this goes on. So many people in the art walks this summer were coming in saying I had no idea this was going on here. Who are you? <laughs> you know, you Australian? <laughs> so it's really important. I think this, this center could be what, whatever it wants to be to Red Lodge. Big thank you to the Roosevelt. I, I'll be moving on um, this month. I'm moving down to New Mexico. I'm still gonna be keeping all my contacts and all the good stuff that's happened in Montana over the last few years. I already have a show in Billings in May, 2022 on May the 14th. Um, yeah, I'd urge people if, they were, if they're interested in my stuff and interested to um, keep up to date with what's going on, um, go to my website, henryblondart.com and um, sign up for the newsletter, and just be involved. Come follow me on Facebook or Instagram and I'm gonna try and do a better job with social media and keep everyone up to date with what's going on. So that's about it. <laughs>